So here we are in the brand new 2024 redesigned Hyundai Kona. Last Kona we drove was the N that we had in a comparison with the GR Corolla because that was the closest thing Hyundai was selling to an actual hot hatch here because we don't get the i30. Right. So here we are in the updated Kona. It's bigger and different all around. You know, redesigning things just for the sake of redesign without making them better isn't better. So you're saying you're a fan. <laughs> Okay, all right. For $33,645 as the limited trim level. Loaded up, except no all-wheel drive. This is good for transporting humans. Mm -hmm. right? It is, yes. Cars look a certain way because they transport humans. Yes. Cars also sell <laughs> or do not sell because of their style. You're easing your way into something uh, here. I can feel it. I can really feel am. you just kind of easing your way into a cold pool. Do I, <laughs> do I start with styling or do I start with power? I, I don't Should know. Should we tell you about the power? It's a 1.6 liter mm -hmm. turbo mm -hmm. in line four with 190 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. And it, it moves the car. It's adequate. Great cars, great roads, and all the reasons we love to drive. Road trips, comparisons, test drives, and podcasts. This is Everyday Driver. There's an eight-speed okay. transmission in here that is yeah. that is fine, excellent, yeah. no problems there. Okay. This 190 horsepower is enough to have this car do what it does. But let me give you a couple of interesting stats. Zero to 60 in this, it's not, look, that's not the deciding it, stat. It has a zero to but 60. But zero to 60 in this is just over seven seconds. So that gives you a frame of reference that there are minivans okay. faster, okay? Uh -huh. This is not uh -huh. fast, but it's turbo, so there's that mid-range it put grunt it, a little bit. I don't want to say punch, do grunt a little bit. Things. It's got a little bit of turbo things in the middle. Yeah. So that's good. The transmission does really well with this engine. What you don't want is the lower models. True. Which have the non-turbo two liter and 147 horsepower with a grand zero to 60 in the mid nines. The mid nines. At what point do we stop measuring zero to 60 as a, well, as a but, benchmark when, they get, point, when the times get too too high? Well, my point is, when though, we just be like, you know, when you're close to double digits, <laughs> it's starting to be borderline dangerous. Right. And everything is faster than you at that point. So at least yeah. this is enough. My thoughts are this market and how many other little SUVs or hot hatch that are, that are right on the border, right mm -hmm. on the cusp, mm -hmm. trying to get your money. Yep. Because these are not necessarily lost leaders. These are the ones trying to pull money into the company. But they're trying to sell enough of them, which means they have to be appealing enough to appeal to enough customers and be good and meet everybody's need at a certain price point. And this does that. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of competition. Yes. There's so much competition that I'm even thinking about the Volkswagen Taos, which I loathe. It's in this segment. Detest is not even a a kind word for True. the Taos. You're not a fan. And I would almost suggest looking at the Taos over the new Kona. Wow. wow. Okay. All right. The Kona checks everything off the list. Okay. Fits people. Actually, mm -hmm. the rear seat space is pretty good. Surprisingly good. Did they you sit they, back there? Yes. They, well, my son sat back there and he's a tree now. They've reduced the actual thickness of the front seat, something we've raged about a lot yes. in a lot of automakers. They've made these really thin and they are both heated and ventilated and it gives you more legroom. that has got, got a longer wheelbase than the prior Kona, thinner seats, and so you have usable back mm -hmm. seat space. Okay. Not great, but usable. I, I sat back there. I really thought it was pretty great. You know, not for long distances, but I was yes. actually comfortable. Yes. I wasn't cramped anywhere. Totally agree. I cannot praise Hyundai's warranty enough. It's brilliant. And look, you feel like you're going to get a lot for your money in here. The steering wheel heater has two settings, mm -hmm. not just one. Mm -hmm. The seats will cook food. They get so hot. <laughs> they get very hot. You're right. Yes. <laughs> You're going to feel like, I got a lot for my money. Mm -hmm. This feels interesting. It feels good. The only other thing that I can think of, and I mean thing, that also checked all the boxes was the 2001 to 2005 Pontiac Aztec. That ah, also yikes. checked all the boxes. Everything they wanted it to do, it did. Plus it had a tent. Woo! <laughs> tent. It doesn't even have a tent. This Where's the tent? What, what are we talking about? Yeah. But there's too many cooks in the kitchen for that one and too many cooks in the kitchen for this one. Interesting. Okay. This all is right. designed by, not committee, by I think everybody had input. 
and it dilutes it. There is no real driving experience to be had and it's not compelling enough for me to recommend this over something else, even like the Taos, and I hate the Taos. It is phoned in, it is like the worst acting performance <laughs> from an actor. Mortgage payment on the third yeah. house. <laughs> I mean, you did some perfume ad for Japan. Uh -huh. and, yeah, you know, those are lucrative. Th yeah. They are lucrative. You didn't pay attention to your core audience. And that's what I feel like Hyundai is doing with the new Kona. Interesting, okay. The right. last Kona was a hot hatch. This one is a hot a hot mess, yeah. stylist, <laughs> oh, stylistically okay. speaking. All right, I see it. Because proportionally speaking, again, this fits humans. It looks like it fits humans, but I can't determine if this is supposed to be a hot hatch or now a little bit of an SUV. Which is it? Yeah. You have put it so succinctly for this category that appeals to people. When you open the door, you just stop walking. <laughs> You're right. You don't sit down in it. You don't climb up into it. You just stop walking. <laughs> this is the definition of that. But you look around the car and I, I think, okay, Hyundai with their Elantra. Not everybody liked that Elantra. I thought it was actually successful, but they changed it, they updated it, and the new Elantra looks even better. A lot of what Hyundai's style has been setting their direction. They have done a great job. It, it looks like leaders in their category except for this. Mm. It's like all the worst style elements littering the design studio floor were tacked onto this. Well, oh, how about a oh, little oh. bit of that? Little bit of that. Yikes. Let's, let's put that on. We used all the outs. I don't, I see robotic sort of Tesla Cybertruck influence. I mm. see headlights in a, in a weird spot. I see fender flares that are directional, but they terminate strangely. Mm. The jounce is too much, so is this a tall SUV or is it a low hatchback? I yes. can't really tell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's both, and it succeeds at being neither. Yeah. The worst part is when you see the EV version of this, mm. because the plastic fender body cladding that takes the visual mass out of this actually is painted on the EV version, mm. and you're going to have to turn away. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a fan. I am, I am such impressed. a fan. Yes, okay. Look, this beats the Taos in every category, from door slam to how it drives to amenities, everything about it. I would prefer the Kona. I prefer Hyundai products. But the Taos looks better, and mm. that's what sells, mm, and that's what Hyundai has forgotten. The last one was edgy and different and hot hatchy and kind of cool. I'll take that all day long over this one. Interesting. This does okay. not look compelling. It does not look fun to drive. It does not look like anything except the box that transports humans. It does that well. It does that well. It does it well. I, it's fine. I, I, ta I take Why? your point. I, we all know, obviously, that style is subjective. Now, you have the background in styling that I do not, so I, I get that. We all know styling is subjective. There sure. will be folks watching sure. this right now, many of whom probably bought a Kona, who are raging about how awesome they think it looks. So that those people and will you be know out what? there. And Wonderful. Yeah, the same thing happened with the Beaver Teeth with BMW. Absolutely. That will exist. Turns out sure. we were wrong about the BMW Beaver Teeth. They're selling like crazy. There will be a market for this. I agree it is not a compelling design on its own. The thing I'm very impressed by, though, that I, that I cannot overstate is there's an actual a lot of value for money. A little game we play in my family, or don't you wish you were one of us, <laughs> is that when people <laughs> climb into a press car, all of us climb into a press car, everybody guesses what they think the car costs. Okay. okay, okay. I like that. My, my son's gotten pretty good at it. My wife's good at it. They, they guess what the car cost. Both of them thought this cost mid-40s. Really? And it's $34,000 loaded. Once you actually start playing with it, you start to go, okay, yeah, I see how this is. It's 30s, not 40s. Okay, but, okay. But the, the first blush and the actual interaction and the amount of tech that it has in here, there is a lot of value here. I am actually incredibly impressed with all the stuff you get. Okay, yes. And if yes. you are a person shopping for driving experience, meaning I commute and I need a commute device, this does everything you could dream of. All of it. And it does it well. Mm -hmm. And it has usable back seats in a small package. Now, the, the thing the last Kona struggled with is it was, it was small. It, it was that, small. It was interesting, but it was small. True, true. This has become more usable. And I think for the people that are buying this, keep in mind, the last Kona had an in. This one doesn't. Maybe it will, but this one doesn't. Right now, it's just this. I don't think they've gotten to the end version, the end flavor they, on this quite yet. They made this as an EV first and then figured out how to make it an internal combustion engine car. That's how they designed yeah. this car, which is very interesting. But this was clearly like they took the last one and went, how do we make it better, to your point, for the people inside? There's a lot of really good style here as far as the inside is concerned. I have one, <clears throat> one critique on the interior. That I, that I feel real mixed about, 
Paul and I have been confused by many manufacturers' choices of how to interact with the transmission. A lot of it has moved from mm. the old school stuff up here on the column down to the center console. We've had dials, we've had bowling balls, we've had hockey pucks, we've had it all. We've had it all. We've had the Eye of Sauron. We have had the Eye of Sauron, all of these things. <laughs> Hyundai has decided, you know what, that takes up space. We should put it on the column, which I actually applaud. <laughs> Sorry. But it's this thing. Sorry. It's this. It's this thing that looks like a thrown-out phone design shoved into the side of the column. And because you have D, N, and R, I've got three on the tree again. I got three on the tree, <laughs> you dude. Do. It, it works you do. fine, and I appreciate the space savings and getting it off the center console. I want to applaud Hyundai for that. Why is it this big, flat, bulky design? It looks like it does. It looks like a phone shoved into the console. The minute I sat down in here, it was like, what am I looking at? What is that? Drive. Yeah. I'm going to go reverse. Yeah. It's exciting. Park. It works Park's fine. Like, it does work it's fine. It's just... It's... Uh, it, do, what, it could be a third of that size. It could be a quarter of that size. It could be a stock. Look, you are absolutely right. The interior, though, none of the style, the shapes, match anything going on in the exterior. That's, that's actually true. That's why that's I true. say there's too much committee here going on. This was designed to check boxes, mm. and it will sell because people will realize for a great value. It does have good power. I get so much value. It's well built. I like being in here. It's comfortable. Yes to mm -hmm, all of that. Mm -hmm. Except I wonder if a style change is coming. Mm. Because this is revolting to my eye. This Interesting. Is, okay. This is off-putting. I'll give you an example. The Zorro Z on the side of the car, that bold theme that starts yeah. at the lower rocker at the front and angles through the sheet metal, past the back door, and up over the spoiler, that does wrap around the car. That's interesting. Except the fender flares are jarring. They try to make it an SUV, but nothing about this is an off-roader. Not at all. So there's so many mixed messages, stylistically mm -hmm. speaking. I don't know what I'm looking at, and nothing relates to something else. We've got the the Terminator, the Knight Rider, Cybertruck, whatever. <laughs> the, the solid beam up front, yeah. You might as well turn those lights red and do Knight Rider tricks or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> let's bring the 80s back. We're trying. Combined next to the fenders, the headlights are not what you think they are. They're way on the sides of the car, down low. Same with the taillights. It's not cohesive. And for me, that's off-putting. I don't know who designed the car, but I think it was committee, and I doubt that anybody at Hyundai would say, yeah, that's my design. I did that. This from the same company that did the Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz looks great. Santa Cruz looks really cool, yeah. And some of these same themes are on that, but just done better. How did we, how did we mess up on this? Portion? <laughs> the problem is, when AI can make a better-looking car than the humans, that means you screwed up. Did you ask AI to fix this? I should. <laughs> The human should be able to create beauty better than the, the computers. Many of you out there this are, frustrating are using for AI and, and trying to make the better Kona. That, there's a little side project for us. You ready to drive while, they, while the, while the I think kind so. people work on that? Why don't you drive? I think while so. Well, they do the AI, okay. you do the driving. <laughs> I admit I'm now hearing the Knight Rider theme. I've just got to over here, kind of do my little Knight Rider dance. <laughs> Let's put it in gear, mm -hmm. twist it like a key, you're three yep. in the tree, it's great. The turbo engine is good, and you've got two modes right down here in the drive, two only, normal mm -hmm. and sport, so when you go to sport, you get curbing! Look at that! <laughs> it does curbing in the gauges, which is really weird. You have it's, FIA certified curbing. No, it's no, nobody certified oh. that. That's been certified by no one. <laughs> did you know that the front wheel drive version of this has a torsion beam rear? It has. A, I did read about that. Multi link on the all wheel drive torsion, torsion beam on beam. this, which is fine. I like that. It's got a turbo engine, an actual real transmission, that's fantastic, and it's got paddles. Mm -hmm. The commands from the paddles to the transmission are suggestions, but this isn't an N. That's no, okay. Yeah, exactly. There's some sport to be found, and if you drive consistently smooth and quick, this thing is fairly satisfying to drive. And did you notice that the lower versions get CVTs? They not only get a worse yes. engine, they get a CVT. This is the only <laughs> version you get. Avoid. Get the upper le level trims with this turbo motor and the eight speed. You do not want the lower trims. There's no steering feel. There's no fun really to be had, but that's not why you're buying this category. You're buying it for price. You're buying it for amenities. But when it comes to the ride, I'm a little confused. Okay. Because this says hot hatch-ish. This says small, tight, this is the problem kind we're dealing of interesting with. Yes. Uh -huh. yep. thing yep. to drive. 
Yet it is not. True. The suspension feels softer than many sedans that I've driven. Uh-huh. I it would go with that. Yep. Almost spongy, like close to like dried kitchen sponge. Wow. Like it, you just push it and it just slowly <laughs> rebounds. <laughs> you push the dried sponge and just slowly reforms got its it. shape. Got it. So it's got springs and sponges. That's I what's suppose under there. So. Got it. Okay. It's comfortable, but then I think, you know, for the people buying this, for the consumer buying this, it needs to be comfortable. Yes. If agreed. it were yes. too mm-hmm. harsh, they'd wonder. I'd wonder. I'm a consumer too. I, I wouldn't want that stiff suspension. I'd want it on the N. And when you apply the N kind of styling performance and colorway to Hyundai vehicles, usually they, they get better, but we're not starting with something great here. That's my concern. We're starting with an EV hot hatch SUV mix. And so is, I mean, look, they did wonders in the last Kona. Come on. Well, Ugh. easy. Oh, you are you are in track mode though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can tell that this is what you get for trying to make a platform do it all. It's trying to be too many things, and the design by committee means it's trying to be sold worldwide and appeal yes. to everybody. Yes, no question. So if you're shopping for this or anything in this market segment, an old Kona, I'm going to bring up the Crosstrek. You mentioned the Taos. There's a lot of stuff in this. <laughs> I really hate the Taos. I know. I know. You're shopping for any of this. those. You can go to autotempest.com slash every day. You yes. can actually find anything you can imagine. Autotempest searches all of the search engines for all cars nationwide. You can really find the exact version you're looking for of whatever, be it old <laughs> Kona, new Kona. Kona ends are out there. Kona ends you can are find something. There. So and don't those forget cool. about autotempest.com. Yes. Autotempest.com. All the cars, one search. Compromise didn't work for this. And for that reason, I think they should have stopped short. It should have been a little less compromised and a little little less focused. Trying to do fewer things, maybe? Yes. If it's going to be a hot hatch, let's go in the direction of hot hatches. People love hot hatches. They sell. Everybody loves hot hatches. Who doesn't but, like a but hot a, hatch? But a five-seat, mid-size, silver or white CUV is the holy grail for car makers right now. I cannot say this is a home run, but they're going to sell. Yeah. They just are. And because Hyundai's warranty, great build quality, reliability, and the things that you get for your money, that value. The interior is the reason you buy it. I appreciate what this offers for the money. This is not a driver's vehicle. That's not the point. It's a commuting car. It is a good all-in-one family car. It does all of those things well. I really do think that the upper level engine is worth the stretch on this, which gets you the good transmission. Yep. And then yep. you have usable back seats and a decent sized cargo area. It's this mid-sized CUV. It's not even mid size it's the compact CUV. <laughs> And honestly, Ugh. that segment is a tough segment for you and I. There's very yes. few standouts in that segment, and everybody offers at least one. Hyundai built an Aztec, everyone. Wow. <laughs> Modern. What a note to end on. Aztec. Aztec, no tent. <laughs> Hyundai Kona. We like a lot of their stuff. We it just wasn't a standout. We like all this their stuff. Not, this was awesome. not their, I this love was not their best day. And this was not their best day. <laughs> this is a, a misstep. Forgot the salt or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like when Gordon Ramsay eviscerates chefs on his show, mm-hmm. he always goes back to salt and pepper. And ask them, did you did you actually use salt and pepper? No, I forgot salt and pepper. That's the basics. <laughs> That's like the the lowest salt and pepper is the base seasoning. Hyundai Kona needs more salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Got it. Okay, uh-huh. we're, we're we're learning stuff today. <laughs> we really are.